Okay, so it's 11 degrees this morning, <laughs> and uh, we're here at the range. And we're going to be putting some rounds through the Beretta 3032 Tomcat. This is a 32 ACP pistol. We're going to be shooting the Blazer uh, 71 grain total metal jacket. Uh, this is a great little conceal carry option, uh, especially for those that are really sensitive to uh, recoil. The 32 is a, a lot more mild than the 380 uh, ACP. So we're going to go ahead and take some shots here at uh, 10 yards with it. Uh, see what kind of group we can we can do at 10 yards with this little gun. So here we go. Okay, we're going to go right for that bottom left right there. Down like that. Okay, now one of the nice things about this is you could always pop up that barrel at the end, and so you know that the chamber's empty, you know that uh, everything's good. You can always drop the mag as well, but but that's one of the cool little features about this little gun is it has that uh, pop-up barrel. So you can actually load around in the chamber and you can unload around from the chamber just by popping up the barrel. So, all right, let's go take a look at the, uh, at the group and see how we did. So there you go, guys. That is a, a group at 10 yards with the Beretta 3032 Tomcat. Definitely, um, very, very accurate. This is 10 yards. Uh, that's That'll more than get the job done. Every single one of those are on target. Seven yards. So, anyway, that's... Uh, that's eight rounds of 32 ACP, all of them within about the size of my hand. Rapid fire at seven yards. Um, I don't know if anybody could really um, argue the fact that that would totally screw somebody up. <laughs> and uh, so, 32 ACP, eight rounds that fast, totally an effective concealed carry and self-defense option. So I've been getting a ton, a ton, a ton of requests to review this little Tomcat. And so without further ado, let's introduce you guys to the Beretta 3032 Tomcat and 32 ACP. This gun is actually made in the United States of America by Beretta USA. And so it's not uh, made by the Italian equivalent in Italy. Uh, I love this little gun. It is, it is one of my favorites. This gun is a blowback action style pistol, and for those of you that don't know what a blowback action means, it means that there's a, it, it is a non-locking breech. Okay, so there's no locking mechanism to hold the slide closed while the bullet is being accelerated and exiting the barrel. Uh, the only thing that keeps that slide in place is the weight of the of the slide and also the spring tension. Okay, so let me, before, before I manipulate this gun too much, let me just show you that it is empty. Okay, right there, it is empty and unloaded. Okay, so one of the advantages of the blowback action is the fact that it is a simple design. It's, it's very simple, there's not as many uh, uh, parts that are involved with it. Um, but the disadvantages of uh, the blowback action in this particular case is that it makes the slide very hard to manipulate. And so, as you can see, you have to kind of muscle that slide backwards um, a bit because the, the recoil spring in this is very, very, very tight, okay? Now, if the hammer's dropped, it's very difficult to pull, that, pull the slide back. If the hammer is back, it's a bit easier, but you still have to muscle it to some degree to get it to, uh, to get it to come back. Now, the only time you actually really ever have to um, utilize the um, uh, the slide manipulation is on a reload. So if, if the gun's empty, it does not lock back, okay? So you slap your other magazine in, 
and then you have to rack around back in. This actually has no ejector, okay? So it has no um, ejector or extractor, and let me just kind of pop the barrel up and you can see that. There's no extra extractor claw at all. And so what actually pulls that spent casing out of the gun is the, uh, the spent gas is pushing back on the casing. And that's what extracts the, extracts the, the uh, round. So that's what pushes the, the, the slide back and actually extracts the round at the same time. Very, very, very simple. People sometimes um, criticize uh, the, the Tomcat because there is no extractor. But for the most part, it extracts incredibly reliable. I've never had a hiccup with this gun ever. I've never, ever, ever had um, a failure to uh, feed or failure to eject. Uh, I have had an erratic uh, ejection once in a while, maybe one every hundred rounds. I get a, a round that goes back up over my head. In fact, you can see one of those in the opening shooting scenes of this video. You can see that um, that one of the rounds goes back down my down my shirt. That can happen with guns even if they have ejectors and extractors. Okay, so erratic e extractions just happen sometimes. It just kind of depends. But for the most part, that. Um, that's uh, as how this gun operates. This this version is actually the Inox version, um, and what that means it's it's bred as fancy way of saying uh, stainless steel. So Inox means stainless steel version. The uh, slide and the barrel is stainless steel in this gun. The f the frame here is an aluminum alloy. So they say it's a very very strong. They say it's stronger than steel, but uh, just depends on which website you look at. But uh, it's an aluminum alloy frame, um, and the the resulting weight is unloaded is 14 and a half ounces. So it's a very very lightweight gun for what it is. It's very very small. Uh, the 32 ACP is a very efficient cartridge for short barrels. This this barrel length on this is 4.2 or 2.4 inch barrel, and you still get a lot of power generated from those small cartridges even in such a short short barrel. So. The 14 and a half ounces and the 32 ACP results in a very snappy recoil, but not incredibly, um, the amplitude on that recoil is not a lot. So what I mean by that is you're not getting a large amount of muzzle flip with this gun, but you are getting a very, very sharp and snappy recoil, okay? So if, if you can get over the sharpness of the recoil, it's very, very controllable, very manageable. My wife actually prefers to shoot this gun over my uh, Ruger LCP, which is a little bit more lightweight and has a more powerful uh, round being fired out of it, that, 32 AC, or that 3080 ACP. So she actually likes to shoot this better just because it's more controllable, it's, it's a little easier to handle, and the recoil is not nearly as brutal as the LCP. Let's see, the thickness, okay, on, in the carryability of this gun, um, the size, the overall size, and you can see in my hand, and I've got kind of medium-sized hands, this gun is very, very small. The one disadvantage to this gun um, over, you know, others is the fact that it's a bit thick. It's a 1.1 inches thick, and that's right around the same thickness as a Glock, maybe a little bit less, but, but it is a bit on the thick side. Um, and so it does, it, it is a little bit more difficult to carry because of that thickness, but for the most part, really, really easy to carry. I think it's a great pocket pocket carry gun. Um, and for the most of the part, um, any medium-sized uh, frame adult would have no problem at all carrying this gun. Women can carry this gun very easily in the waistband or even in the pockets if, if you so desire, but uh, definitely definitely not a, not a hard gun to carry. Anyway, you can carry this gun cocked and locked. Um, I don't really recommend it just because of the the uh, double action trigger pull is really quite smooth. In fact, it, I, I'm thinking it's right around 10 pounds, okay? Very, very, very smooth with a nice, nice, crisp let off. Uh, the, the single action has a little bit of uptake and a little bit of travel, and then it, and then it releases very, very, very crisply, as you can tell, right there. Really, really crisp trigger. In fact, um, the uh, the reset on this is very, very nice as well. As you can see here, right there, and you're ready to fire again. So it has a nice, large uh, uh, trigger guard, which allows you to use this with gloves and, and different, uh, different size fingers, so it's really, really good. Um, but the trigger is really nice, so I don't really uh, 
consider carrying cocked and locked a, a good idea in this gun. I think that that, that double action is nice enough that um, it's not going to be a throwaway round necessarily. And it's all about how you train with it. Now, the caliber snobs out there will say, well, 32 ACP is a worthless cartridge. I disagree. In fact, the more I shoot, the more I get comfortable shooting um, and, you know, my, my shooting skills improve, the more comfortable I am carrying a smaller uh, pistol, um, especially in smaller calibers. The 32 ACP or the 7.62 or the 7.65 millimeter is actually a very usable round in self-defense. You're looking right around the 130 foot-pound range. Um, it has a standard uh, 60 grain hollow point. This is a, a federal hydroshock and this is actually a 65 grain hydroshock and definitely um, a, usable gun, a usable caliber. Now you can one special note about the 32 ACP is that it's a semi-rimmed cartridge. You can kind of see that the rim on that protrudes a bit further out than the side of the, the casing. So they call that a semi-rimmed cartridge. Yeah, so you can also shoot the full metal jacket. This is a uh, 71 grain, yeah, 71 grain full metal jacket. Uh, this is the Winchester White Box. Great uh, ammunition for your uh, full metal jacket needs. So, all right, back to the gun. Now, the magazine, um, the magazine release is down here, uh, down below. With these smaller guns, sometimes it's easy to actuate the magazine release. Um, when it's when it's positioned here, so this kind of helps uh, alleviate that problem, and it's pretty easy to to use. In fact, when you're grip, gripping the gun, you can just come down here with the with uh, your uh, back of your knuckle and just hit the the release. Now, one thing that's the, one disadvantage about these magazines is the fact that they do not drop th drop free. You actually have to kind of grab onto it and pull it free, so that slows down your reloads. Uh, the magazines are actually very well built. They're made in Italia there, uh, 32 ACP. Uh, the followers on them are non-tilt, really nice stainless steel. The magazines themselves, I believe, are stainless steel. I could be wrong. They they do they do they are really light, so they could be aluminum mags, um, and that's definitely a possibility. But I think they're just steel. But they're really really well ma well made. Uh, they they're seven round capacity, so you have seven rounds plus one in the chamber for a total of eight rounds, um, which I think is a very usable amount. So it's about that's about the same as you get from a 1911. One note about the the plastic grips is you can see kind of the um, uh, the melted plastic there. That was due to solvents. Okay, so we were cleaning the gun and the solvents kind of got on there, and um, and I actually forget what solvent did that. But uh, you kind of got to be a little careful with that plastic as some solvents will, will cause it to melt. The, this gun is an incredibly accurate pistol for its size. It has a 3.3 inch uh, sight radius. Um, and, and so you'd think, and actually very minimal sights. You can see that the, the rear sight on that is a little dovetail if it'll, if it'll focus here. A little dovetailed rear sight. And the front sight is a fixed post. Uh, let me show you the sight picture on it very minimal but even with minimal sights this gun is incredibly accurate uh, if you saw in that opening scene you could see that uh, with this gun at 10 yards I was shooting about a one and a half inch group with it so really 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 good very accurate gun for for what it is definitely no um, no complaints there at all one thing one thing to note about this um, this Beretta is the fact that it is uh, what Beretta d calls the no snag design. They're, they say that there's no uh, spots on the gun that will actually snag uh, pants or things like that. And I think for the most part they, they've really pulled that off well. The only thing that I think might snag a little bit is the hammer, but for the most part I've never had a problem with this as I've extracted it from the pocket. And this to me is a primary pocket carry. It's not uh, something I carry in a holster on my side. It's, it's, uh, it's a uh, pocket carry only. And I feel that they've done a really good job taking off the sharp edges or anything that might snag up on it. So, Anyway guys, this is a fantastic little pistol. It's definitely uh, worth taking a look at if you guys are, are interested in a small pocket pistol that still has a very usable round, that 32 ACP. Definitely usable gun, um, definitely has uh, enough power and enough stopping power. Uh, as you saw in the first part of this video, that um, 
that rapid fire scene, you can see that the follow up shots are incredibly fast with it. Uh, eight rounds to the chest um, of 32 ACP is going to be a really bad day, guys. <laughs> really bad day. And someone that really knows how to use this pistol uh, will not feel undergunned at all. In fact, um, as my shooting skills improve and I get uh, better at, uh, at manipulating um, firearms in general, my confidence level in using something like this goes through the roof, okay? I don't feel undergunned at all, especially with 8 plus 1 and a quick reload on the magazine. So, alright guys, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and feel, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, also, if you'd like to like or dislike this video, go ahead and do that however you see fit. Also, if you'd like to favorite the video, uh, please do so because it does help the video out and helps the, the channel grow. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and we will catch you in the next video. See ya. Shoot the uh, top left. Squeeze it.